Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and uh, I'm going to do a little video uh, for my YouTube channel, New Jerusalem Times, uh, and uh, point out something that maybe nobody has ever done before, and that is to replace the hood from my uh, Mazda B2600 uh, four-wheel drive pickup truck, and this is the old hood right here. And uh, as you might be able to tell, there's uh, been a, uh, a hail storm. Uh, it was a couple of years ago, but I'm just now getting around to changing out the hood. I didn't know if I was going to do it or not, but uh, finally decided to, uh, after looking around and pricing hoods, I uh, noticed that the B2200 hoods were significantly cheaper than the B2600 hoods. Now the B2600 hoods have this raised area in the center. It's kind of a macho looking bulge that apparently people seem to like uh, judging from the, uh, the Mazda forums and the truck forums on the internet. They like this but uh, I didn't like it because uh, to get a replacement hood for the B2600 was over 400 bucks and I look pretty high and low for the best prices and that's about as good as I could find but uh, conversely on the B2200 hoods which are you know dimensionally they're the same the body styles are the same it's just this bulge in the middle that is different because the uh, B2600 uh, uh, trucks have a different uh, air induction system they have a uh, multi-point fuel injection system that has a uh, a manifold that sits up a lot taller or somewhat taller uh, than the B2200 trucks and uh, which only are carbureted or maybe they came out with a uh, single point fuel injection system but uh, regardless the B2600s have a uh, an air intake system that sits up higher and it uh, seems to call for this raised hood in the middle but otherwise the hoods are the same so I checked with the uh, prices on the uh, B2200 hoods and uh, you know they're a little more than a hundred dollars is all and these ones are you know over four hundred dollars so uh, I quickly thought to myself well why couldn't I just take a B2200 uh, you know aftermarket hood and uh, place it on my B2600 hood and if there was a, a, a uh, tendency for this uh, underneath some of those cross member reinforcement seg segments you know I could just notch out a, a spot uh, and uh, place it on okay so here's the hood that I bought uh, via Amazon at 135 bucks uh, I guess uh, the people that market it it's marketed under Evan Fisher at 135 bucks free shipping and you can see that it's uh, the primer is the black color that uh, very nearly matches the black of the truck if I put some uh, wax on it and buffed it up pretty nice I'm sure it, it match almost uh, perfectly so anyway I was happy with the price uh, happy with the free shipping I got the ch uh, truck real cheap so but I thought I'd do it so you know here I am doing it and I'm just gonna share it with you uh, anybody out there who has wondered the same thing because uh, these uh, Mazda trucks were great trucks and uh, you know they probably made them for uh, 10 or 12 years uh, and uh, they're very well rated. I like this little truck. Uh, it's uh, four-wheel drive. It's uh, got an automatic transmission. Tra transmission is rated well. The motor's rated well. It's fuel inject injected. Uh, you know, on a previous uh, YouTube video, I did a, uh, a custom stainless steel exhaust underneath uh, shortly after I bought it. And you may want to check that out. And I recently did a, a little stainless steel uh, uh, air intake system too, a cold air intake. It's, strictly speaking, it's not perfectly a, a, a cold air intake because I didn't make a little partition wall, but uh, it's pretty slick and it uh, cleaned up uh, underneath there. So, you know, the truck's over 20 years old. So, you know, I, I thought that was a cheap and easy uh, uh, thing to do. And it does seem to uh, give it a little more uh, a throttle response. And, neck down the tubing uh, 
oh, about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. So that might give it a little more uh, air velocity, but uh, otherwise it was a, an easy thing to do. I, I almost thought about doing a, a video on it, but it, it was so quick and easy. I thought, nah, that, that ain't nothing worth mentioning. And even this too, this, uh, but uh, I don't know. I just uh, didn't have any other topics uh, to do. And this may be something that nobody's ever done before. I, I've never really seen anybody say, hey, look, it can be done. I've done it. And here it is. Go ahead and do it. Save yourself some money. But uh, some people, I guess, like this raised, you know, muscular bulge in, in the middle of the hood. I could care less. I, I kind of like the cleaner look behind me, as you can see the truck. And, and I'll uh, bring the camera under the hood and show you just where those cross members come, come uh, potentially in contact with that uh, uh, manifold and that uh, multi-point fuel injected uh, uh, area. Otherwise, it was a piece of piece of cake. Just the four nuts. You know, the thing came off in about four minutes and uh, went back on a little longer than that because adjusting it, getting it fitted up right. And, Okay, so here we are under that uh, new aftermarket hood, the B2200 hood on a B2600 hood. And this is the uh, area and the reason why the B2600, uh, you know, undoubtedly has that bulge in the, in the middle. And that's because of this uh, air intake system, this uh, big manifold and this uh, throttle body here. And... This throttle body rides up a little higher than the manifold. I thought maybe this would be the first thing to touch up top there, but uh, if anything's touching that cross member right there, the cross member hits right across here and not here. So this area actually uh, doesn't touch up. It touches more here. So you got a little more room for that baby that throttle body instead of the uh, manifold and I like that that cross member if it touches anywhere it touches right across here and that's a solid smooth flat spot and uh, if I need to I can notch out uh, that cross member with a, an angle grind real easily but as you can see it's not chafing there's no uh, scrape marks there or uh, on the uh, manifold so I'm thinking it's not touching. It doesn't seem to be, but, uh, you know, it, it's very possible that it could. So, yeah, there it is. The side view. There's the manifold. There's that throttle body. You can see the alignment of that cross member. It doesn't really line up with the throttle body. It lines up more on the manifold right there. And... Uh, if needs be, that could be notched out up top there. You don't have to worry about it hitting that throttle body so much, I don't think. It hits more over here. It's a, a B2200 on your B2600 uh, uh, anytime. And uh, you'll save a lot of money. And you might like the clean or smoother look uh, to it as I do. Here's that uh, stainless uh, air intake uh, uh, I put on. You can see the uh, air filter there. That's washable. So, you know, theoretically it never has to be replaced or you never have to pay for another one. And uh, I suppose you could put a, uh, a rubber uh, tube, a silicone tube on there. Uh, you know, this uh, doesn't really take up any of the shock absorption from the motor. But I mounted this... Uh, pretty, uh, uh, you know, shock absorbing. So, you know, this will give if the motor moves, but you can see even these uh, silicone joints uh, absorb some of it. But there's movement there. I like it, especially because it matches the uh, stainless uh, exhaust system, you know, the brushed uh, metal finish. And, uh, you know, up top here there was a, uh, for the uh, breather, this uh, breather right here, uh, went into a kind of a baffle box system and then fed into here and the fitting was not too tight and uh, you know the uh, previous uh, uh, big rubber hose uh, apparatus uh, you know probably had a crack or two in it and I, I cinched up all the uh, 
the clamps and stuff, but I still really didn't trust it. So I just decided, eh, I'll, I'll get rid of it and uh, delete that uh, uh, oil, engine oil breather that fed into this. It didn't need to do that, and uh, it's more airtight without it. So, uh, yeah, I like this, uh, and it was fairly inexpensive. I just used one of those uh, CJ tubes. It was a uh, you know 45 this is the J and it, then it had a 180 degree bend in it uh, but I just chopped that uh, part off and installed this and uh, like it quite well so there you have it no problem putting the hood on B2200 uh, hood on a B2600 that's a little closer look at the uh, B2200 on top of the B2600 uh, four-wheel drive uh, fuel injected uh, Mazda pickup truck. This one's a 1992 and uh, yeah, I like it.